Okay guys, here we are. We're looking at story development and right now we're going to focus on storyboarding, the visual aspect of story development. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to look at a short piece that was uh, grabbed up from you, YouTube. Uh, the guys at Pixar are going to talk a little bit about story storyboarding and we'll look at the process of developing the story from the script through storyboards and we'll look at a pitch as the storyboards are pitched to the director and then we'll come back to this piece which is scene one shot one of our storyboards okay so let's just let the guys at Pixar talk about it here we go uh, we'll back up here and let her roll now we're gonna explain to you exactly how we just create story we usually start with the written word and I'll write something and then once I think it's good enough, I ask for to see if John likes it and approves it. Yes, great, approved. And, and he gives it to Joe, as you can see. And then what exactly do you do with it, Joe? Well, I take the written word and I draw it into pictures. And then I take those pictures and I pin them to a board, a storyboard like this. And then after that's done, I pitch it to the directors. Okay, now why exactly do you pitch them to the director? Well, I want to give a sense of what this movie could be like. So it's like telling a story to your friends okay. and try to bring it to life and get a feeling of what the story could be like on a, as a final film. Oh, so it's what it would feel like to be in the theater watching the yeah. movie. Okay. Trying to convey that feeling to people. So what are we going to see now? Right now you're going to see me pitching the Army Man sequence from the first Toy Story. And by the way, this was the very first sequence ever storyboarded on Toy Story 1. Yeah, it was. All the toys are worried, so Woody goes over to the Sarge and says, Sergeant, establish a recon post downstairs. Code red. You know what to do. Sergeant says, yes, sir. He hops off and he goes down by the bucket of soldiers. He goes, you heard him. Code red. Repeat. We are at code red. Recon plan. Charlie, execute. Let's move, 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 move. And all the soldiers start jumping out of the bucket, and they start marching. The other toys are watching him. And then we cut to the hallway. All is quiet. And then the door opens, and one little soldier appears down by the banister. Or what do you call that? Down by the wall. So even so far, we can see the quality of the drawings. They're they're very strong. They're fast. They give a lot of emotion. You'll notice as we go on and we see the characters uh, emote that it really does a lot to sell the shot. Each panel that's presented up here, uh, quality artwork. Down by the molding and uh, <coughs> the emotions. <laughs> Down by the baseboard and the little soldier runs across. So we see that the coast is clear and signals, and then the troops start moving out. They're carrying a baby monitor, and they got a coil of jump rope, and they come down the hall, <coughs> and then they're over by the by the stairs, and they start um, coming out and hiding behind the columns. And uh, Sarge holds back behind the one column, and he looks down, and all the kids are downstairs, and Mom's saying, "All right, kids, it's ready to open the presents. So I'm gonna go get the cake and ice cream." And they go, "Okay, Mom," and all the kids run away, and the coast is clear. And Sarge looks down, sees that there's nobody there, and then he turns over and he gives the silent hand signal. One, two, to two of these soldiers. And zip pan over, and two paratroopers jump down, and foof, foof, their parachutes open up, and they come gliding through the scene down to the floor on the first story below. And they pull out their guns just to, you know, make sure the coast is clear and everything's safe. So they look up and they start signaling for the, signaling for the, the rest of the guys to follow. And the jump rope comes down, the guy's on the bottom, I already got their parachutes put away because they're so fast. And they, uh, <laughs> and they hold up. So you'll notice here how the outlet is included and the baseboard, but the outlet really helps to give you a sense of scale of the size of these objects. Really smart to put that in there to to help establish the shot. <laughs> and then they start speed repelling. These guys are like a Cracker Jack special forces unit. They speed repel down into the circle of safety down at the bottom of the net and then we cut back up to the <coughs> back up to the room and then all the <coughs> toys start running over to Woody and Woody pulls out this baby monitor and he sets it up onto the bedside stand and clicks it on and says now this is how we're gonna find out what's in those presents and all the toys start crowding around meanwhile the <coughs> army guys are downstairs walking by the kitchen door and 
they're marching, and then they hear some footsteps coming. And Sarge turns around, gives them the silent hand signal to freeze, and the He'd have blown his hand off right there. Bang! Positions. The bazooka man down on one end, the mortar guy, the minesweeper. Everyone's mine just sweeper. frozen. Yeah! Everyone's frozen in their army man positions. And then the door opens up and mom comes out and oh! The minesweeper gets crushed. So then she, she goes, oh, I thought I told him to put these away. She thinks that Andy just left some of his toys out. She uses her foot to kind of kick them over and they slam up against the wall. Mom continues walking past, and Woody's up there with the toys, and Rex is getting worried. What's taking them so long? And Woody says, come on, these guys are professionals. They're the best. <laughs> they're not lying down on the job. And then we cut down to them all lying down. On, you know, they're all lying around. <laughs> uh, Sarge looks up, and he gets to his feet, and signals for him, to all, to, all done with silent hand signals, get up. And they start moving. Sarge shows them where to go, and they start moving towards the planner. And then he calls up to the other guys to send down the baby monitor, and he looks over and oh, the minesweeper guy's wounded. He says, Sarge, Sarge, go on without me. <laughs> and he picks him up and he goes, a good soldier never leaves a man behind. And he starts dragging him out, sending all the other guys off the, the uh, rest of the, the you know, squads, bringing the baby monitor down. These guys are lowering it down. They jump off, unwind the jump rope from the baby monitor, they rush it over to the plant. They get it up into the house plant. He's, he's dragging, you know, Sarge is dragging the wounded minesweeper guy. When kids are coming, a ball starts bouncing towards him. Oh, no, it's the pressure's on. They're like, the other guys are up in the plant saying, you know, motion them for him to come on. And then finally, at the last second, they haul the wounded guy up into the plant, and the kids go running by. And then we pan through, like, this jungle terrain, but it's within a house plant. And <clears throat> they set up the baby monitor, and they click it on, and we pan down to the medic. He's taking care of the uh, <laughs> taking care of the wounded guy. He knows it's okay. He gives the thumbs up signal. And we pan over to this like moss kind of stuff, and up comes Sarge, and he goes, "Ah, oh, there they are." He gets his binoculars, and we see all the presents right there. Where, uh, they're gonna watch it open. Okay, that's great stuff. Uh, one of the things that that we notice in this presentation is the the quality of the line work. It's not extremely tight, but it's got just enough detail in it to really sell the story. It's more about, it, it's got a lot of elements of composition, uh, and it's more about just relating what's been written into a visual form to give the direction of where we're going to go for actually beginning to animate this piece. How we'll move now into setting up the scene. How we'll, we'll start staging our characters inside the shot to start building the animation. So that's the power of storyboards is that they really give you a visual sense of the story. So here we've written uh, a short script that that we're developing for this this animation piece uh, called Robot Battle. This is uh, scene one. We find ourselves in a in a establishing shot, uh, desert arena in the background, fade up from black. Sun is high just after midday. Shadows just starting to grow in length. Now, our storyboards. We'll zoom out here. We're in uh, Photoshop. Hang on just a second. Well, bear with me here. We're gonna. Uh, it's unfortunate, but sometimes my mouse tablet uh, actually. Or my my uh, Wacom actually causes the background sounds to activate the warning inside of uh, Photoshop. So anyway, uh, we basically zoom in. We see some movement to the left. We see a little lizard. Lizard runs out. Lizard comes up into camera uh, after zooming around. Uh, this is we'll we'll pause right here and we'll look at our character. This is Animus. Uh, this is the lizard character that we're going to actually use in our, and this is our, his character sheet. So anyway, Animus comes forward. He uh, pauses in front of the camera. He kind of looks around. He, he seems to hear something. He turns around and zips off as we are pan or we're dollying back. Uh, and a vehicle tire comes right into the scene, invading the scene, and that's the end of scene one 
Uh, in scene two, we see the Humvee come in. Uh, we follow, follow the billowing smoke as the Humvee descends down. And here we're, we're down lower, and we see the Humvee descending into this small valley with another Humvee that's following it. The Humvee comes, slides to a power stop right in front of us, and the other Humvee slides to a power stop up there. Now, what we'll, we'll show right here is uh, the level of development. Uh, these these are drawings drawings uh, inside of Photoshop of our scenery now we already have the scene inside of Maya the scenes already modeled textured and we're working basically from an established scene we didn't we found the scenery and built the story around it so here is that first shot the establishing shot of the desert arena and here is that same shot inside of Photoshop we'll just go down to scene one uh, we'll turn off the thumbnail and there it is so thumbnail that's the drawing that we did of the the same shot you can see perspectives a little bit off it was just a quick representation of what we were seeing uh, and then we shrunk down the actual shot and put it in the background which we'll probably do that for the animatic so then we're gonna pan over here to the left uh, and see our animus character as he comes uh, running into the scene, runs in. But uh, the point is, uh, our philosophy in the development of good storyboards is to get the story out and to make it look good. Uh, we actually did a short uh, film on the building of this thumbnail right here where we, we sketched it in. Again, for that thumbnail, we actually have the actual background plate in there uh, that we shot inside of Maya so let's just bring we'll bring that up the background plate we'll turn the thumb off turn the white off and bring the background plate up uh, and there's the thumbnail so basically what we did is we created uh, we just created some white blocking behind our drawing this is the background off this is the drawing that we did then we actually brought the background plate in put some white blocks behind us so that we could show our vehicles and we could substitute these actual shots in black and white in the background for our storyboard which we might actually do when we actually go to the animatic but this is how we're developing our storyboards we're using the color differentiation right here just to show the difference between scene one scene two and as we continue on we're not going to actually board this we're not going to put it on a large board we're a small team so it's just us and it, it's all going to be done digitally but this is the development process that we're going through as we go from an idea and develop that into storyboards all right uh, we'll continue to sketch this out and show you the development of the storyboards as they go along in a, a faster process so that you can see it as we develop it we'll speed it up and and put it up so that you guys can actually watch the development of these storyboards but that's our process uh, we start with a simple thumbnail then we start to tighten that up with uh, different brushes and things inside of Photoshop to create a more toned drawing to give more of a sense of depth and space. Okay, thank you very much.